I'd like to say hello to all the subscribers, the new subscribers. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, I'm gonna be keeping, uh, do, you know, I'm gonna keep doing more videos. This is gonna be like a live video. It's about uh, the importance of taking off your batteries from the instruments when you store them for a long time. I was talking to uh, Egi Sierra, which is uh, one of the best musicians, uh, producer, you know, bass player, piccolo bass player. He knows a lot of harmony, and uh, he plays with all the greats. And and uh, I went to his house. And he only he was showing me his basses. He always had to put on the ba batteries, you know. And I'm and I. I forgot about that and last night I was awake, you know, trying to fall asleep and I was thinking about that, oh I have my batteries on you know on the basis and what that might cause is damage to the electronics. That's why he always does that. Because he had a few bases that got damaged because of the acid from the batteries exploding inside and you know you, you we all had flashlights and toys that you, you forgot to take off the batteries and uh, but these are not these are expensive toys so we don't want to risk them so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take off the batteries of all my bases put them in the case by the base so that when you want to use them they're still there and uh, for me, I buy the <laughs> the cheapest. I don't uh, buy, you know, Duracell or any expensive uh, battery because I always forget to. I keep them in the instrument and they go back, or I leave the the cord, you know, I've connected. So, today's video is about disconnecting your instrument and if you're gonna store them for a long time that you don't know when you're gonna play them again, make sure you take off the battery, okay? So, in this case, I'm taking off the battery from my P-Base. It's a 70, 72, I think, 72, 71, 72. Um, P-Bass, you know, which is, it's a nice, uh, nice bass, it's, 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 it's a C-neck, it has really powerful, I'm, I know I'm not connected to the, but um, you could probably feel that, that energy that this bass has. And uh, the pickups are um, EMGs, and I added a pickup right here, a bridge pickup, right there, to make it sound like a jazz bass, you know, basically. Just you need both pickups to sound treble like a funky bass. So, but the thing is, on this bass, you have to take off the whole. Pick guard. That's why I never take the battery off. Because unless I unless I have to and I can't sleep like like last night. I was gonna wake up at it was like one in the morning. I I, I actually I did get up, uh, but I had other stuff. It was a tax uh, thing that I had to do, and I I knew I had. I had to gather, you know, some papers. 
and also the COVID uh, vaccination records that I put inside the the file, you know, case. But um, I never, I didn't know where they were. I I just put them there, and I, so I had to, I had to wake up. But I forgot to take the batteries off. And then today I talked to Eggy. Thank you, Eggy. Shout out to Eggy. Eggy Sierra is, like I said, is one of the best bass players and musicians from Puerto Rico. He lives in Bayamón, Bayamón, Puerto Rico. So, see, I have to, I don't know if you can see this, but to take off the battery, I have to take off, this is the old style pig guard. I hope you can see this. Let me show you better, see? So I have to take, this is a Duracell actually, and it's been there for a long time. Uh, usually what I do is I put the date I tape it and I and I put the date on the battery and I didn't on this one. So this one I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna save it in the case. Uh, but another thing I wanna do with this base, which I'm gonna show you on this video, I have this scroll saw which is made to cut really thin uh, cuts on wood or plastic or metal, even metal, you need specific uh, tools, uh, specific blades for, for those uh, different, excuse me, different materials. But my idea is, and I haven't done it, but it's to cut this pick guard over here. So when I'm gonna change the battery, I don't have to take off the whole uh, pig guard. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it around here, maybe maybe around here, there. Somehow, my uh, warm-up base it's a little more uh, modern and it has a um, plate plastic in the back. It's only four screws to change the battery, so that would be a little easier on a live show. And my new uh, fender it has a quick uh, release for the batteries this is the the fender um, ultra the one that i'm using most now jazz bass and you just open it up and uh, you can take the battery right out and you see that i use the the members mark. This is not an endorsement. This is from uh, Sam's, uh, and you gotta make sure you put the the positive on top. So that's the little one. Uh huh. And then you close it and you push it in. So I wasn't gonna show you this, but uh, I decided to show you because it's so it so it's a complete. Uh, tutorial but this one worked for the for the buttons here so what you do is you do that comes off you do it on all of them next thing we're gonna do we're gonna take off the jack you could do this one with the adjustable range around the the knot go lefty loosey and take it out keep always the parts in a safe place because you don't want to lose your parts ah okay we gotta think of this too yeah, the adjustable wrench is best for this. And now we have the the pick guard. So I'm gonna cut this. So let's see, let's see what happens. If not, a new pick guard. That's <laughs> all right. So let's let it go 
slow. So that's it. Now I'm gonna sand this a little bit. 150 sand, just by hand. All right, so this part now is gonna stay on the base, so you don't have to take off. And I think it's gonna work. It's, it's plenty. There's plenty of room to take it out. And this is gonna go over here. So I, now I have four screws to change my battery on the P base, which is yes, I like that. I'm putting back everything in reverse. Okay, I did the knobs first and then the jack and now I'm do doing the jack first and then the knobs. I have a broken pig card <laughs> but it's on purpose so it's okay. Then you take the battery like this. If I have to change the battery in a show it's like okay give me a new one. Bap. Four screws. Bam, bam, bam. Before the song ends I'm back. So Today I'm going to leave it without the battery because I'm going to store it for a long time. And that's the video. Uh, that's the idea. Make sure you don't pinch the cables because, yeah, they have to go in in a relaxed uh, way. So this is never going to come back out. And it's great because it was a pain in the ass to take the take it out and put it back in with the strings there, the pickup, the crack is right here. And I only have one, two, three, four. Yeah, so I think this is gonna be the end of the video here. Eliseo here. Remember to subscribe. Remember to like the video if you like it. Now I have to put the the, the screws, the the buttons, which is real easy. You just put them on there and then tie them with the with the guitar tool. So we're good and. Um, I think I covered everything. The P base, now it's easy to take off the battery. The Jazz base, new one, is really easy because it's designed for that. And the other one is only four screws, which is the older style but kind of modern, semi modern. So. <laughs> See you next time.